But listen up, folks. Let's get this out of the way right in the beginning for all the 14-year-old boys, okay? Abigail Shapiro has some gigantic fucking milkers. Just some massive, huge gahanagas. Just some gigantic baps, okay? And we're getting this out of the way now, so we don't make any more jokes about it over the course of this segment. Um, because this segment is about the fact that have, you've seen anime memes, right? A meme that's got anime characters. Great, easy. Okay, well, here's a meme for you. You can make this one, okay? The picture is from a high school anime. And as is tradition, the young boy has tripped and face planted into a giant pair of mommy milkers uh, owned by uh, another person. And, and they're being smothered and they're dying right there. And the meme would be, the te the, the, so you, you put text over the boobs, okay? And the text is ads for uh, Abigail Shapiro's new stupid as fuck uh, astroturfed bullshit YouTube channel. And the text over the boy would say, my fucking feed. That's the meme. Do you get it? You get it? What it's saying is, I am being smothered by ads... For Abigail Shapiro's stupid fucking channel. Unbelievable how many there are. That, that Shapiro money is coming in hot. Whatever, the Koch brother, wherever the fuck Shapiro gets paid from, okay, that shit's coming in hot. Because, man, oh man, they have poured money into this. And it has backfired, my friends. Because, here's a hint. I know because I've done this, okay? If you want to buy ad space, I considered buying ad space once for, for something. It was, I didn't go through with it, but I considered it. If you buy ad space using Google ad space, you get to choose different demographics of people you want to have see those ads. So if you're a grifty, conservative trad wife, you want to make absolutely sure that your videos aren't being advertised to millions of non-conservative women who are offended by the way you're portraying femininity. That you would, you would have to be very careful to avoid a, grabbing the attention of those people. Unfortunately, uh, Abigail Shapiro studied opera, not business. And for this reason, Every single one of Abigail Shapiro's videos are fucking buried in dislikes. Oh, they are buried, my friends. By the way, less than 50,000 subs. For an ad run this substantial, I would expect in the six digits easily. Maybe even seven digits for an ad run of that size. But no. This is, this is the conservative money. I'm talking about, folks. You don't see this for left-leaning people. Can you imagine booting up YouTube one day and seeing an ad for me? How fucking pog would that be? How goddamn poggers would that be, boys? If I get billionaire funding, I'm just like, fuck it, $20,000 ad campaign. Let's go, baby. I'd do it. I'd do it. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'd do it. That'd be amazing. Amazing. The issue is, we don't have that kind of money. They have that kind of money. Look at these, look at these videos. Two hours ago, 1.4K views. The Classic Girl's Guide to Jewelry. One day ago, 4.6K. The Office, Joe Jonas Had a Baby podcast. Nude protesting work-life balance, 24K. It... It's very sporadic. It's almost like the videos that they make ads for get a lot of views and a lot of dislikes, and the videos they don't make ads for get not so many views and still a lot of dislikes. Funny how that math works out. All right, Abigail Shapiro. Clearly something's going wrong here. Uh, I don't know if you lack charisma. I don't know what, uh, what exactly um, 
you're doing with this this advertisement revenue you're burning away or this advertisement you know money you're burning away. social media so let's see let's see this is the flagship video conservative women it is our time let's take the culture back are you ready Media, celebrities, influencers, and YouTubers. So much of the I'm time, of it feels things. like one worldview, one position is tolerated. Many of them don't say outright what their politics are. Many of them do. None of them need to, and none of them will say what I'm about to. I'm a conservative influencer. That's so brave. That's so brave. That's so brave. Jordan Peterson has millions of subs. Ben Shapiro has millions of subs. Daily Wire has millions of subs. Steven Crowder has millions of subs. Prager U has millions of subs. And what do we have on the left? ContraPoints, who isn't even a socialist with less than a million subs. Damn, that's so brave of you. It, it must be really hard being a wealthy conservative who's having your entire online career uh, astroturfed by the money uh, your family has. Being a conservative woman in today's day and age is not easy. You'll be told that you have internalized misogyny. Yeah. You'll be told that you don't care about other women's well-being. True. You'll be told that you aren't a real woman. But none of that. I don't know if I've ever heard that one. Usually the not a real woman arguments are made by your types against trans women. That's more of a you guys thing. We don't we don't lay claim to that particular um uh uh, uh accusation. It's true. Conservative women are the backbone of American society. We prioritize mean? marriage and children, support our husbands, and support ourselves. Yeah, you're brood mares. No, no, no. You are the backbone in the sense that you're like the biological machines that are used by your husbands to produce more men to actually do things. That's that's so fucking I listen. Ev listen, I, I stand on this issue with Mao Zedong, okay? Women hold up one half of the sky, all right? But if you're saying the reason conservative, um, if you're saying the reason why conservative women are the backbone of society is because they're quiet wives who produce children, you are waylaying a very narrow range of, um, of, of, of possible contributions women can make to society. Um, you, you are leaving them uh, very much uh, on the table which is a little unfortunate, um, Abigail, because you are currently trying to make a media career off of this. Which, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of Lauren Southern. Do you remember Lauren Southern? Lauren Southern make these videos. Oh, women should be quiet. They should stay in the house. You'll be happier if you stay in the house. Take care of your man. What are you doing, Lauren Southern? You're a you you're a celebrity. You don't have a kids. You didn't have a husband. What what are you do, what are you doing wrong, Lauren Southern? It's a little interesting. You're telling other women to shut up and stay in the kitchen. You're out here making millions of dollars. It's weird. Do you like that? Do you like that freedom and economic independence having a having a successful career gives you? We teach our What is wrong with all of you? families the strength of women both inside the home and out we help our husbands grow not by obeying their every word but by bolstering their strengths and tamping down their weaknesses we live with values what the fuck does this mean we bolster our husband's strengths and tamper down their weight wait do let do democrats not support their partners is that a thing is that a is that is that not a thing Ah, God, I just... Man, look, to each their own. Look, if you guys, if there are any trad wives or wannabe trad wives in chat, go fucking go for it, okay? I, I listen, I don't care. But to me personally, the idea of being born and being taught from birth that you have a moral obligation to be a broodmare and to be like your, um, your husband's emotional toilet and that's like the entire, that's like your whole, we are the backbone of society. We support our men. Like, okay. While men like do all the things. 
Those that encourage people to be better. We fight for what's right, even when the world tells us that everyone should do what they want, regardless of consequences. We stand what? hand in hand with men, not against them. And what? we shouldn't have to remain silent about our views. Wait, 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 wait. You don't stand hand in hand with men, you stand behind them. This whole pitch is on how conservative men and conservative women serve men well. You're not hand in hand with men, you're behind them, okay? Y you, now women in general, but you specifically. This really just does sound like, like, like one woman just trying to justify to herself the life choices she's made. It's so weird and it's so projecty, you know? I get the same feeling whenever I watch men do videos on how you're supposed to be a man. Listen, I'll tell you this, nothing is cringier than mapping out your life and your life decisions based on what internet personalities tell you you shouldn't, shouldn't do. Here's the alpha move, okay? Find what makes you happy that doesn't hurt other people, I mean, obviously, and then do that thing. Just do that and just keep doing that. And as long as you keep being happy and keep not hurting other people, you're doing great. And if you want to throw in other stuff like social contribution, I bet, you know what, I bet most of you would do that anyway, because healthy humans, for the most part, like contributing to society. Views, like I did, for years. You've been forgotten and left behind. What? As magazines and movies decided you're outdated. You've been told that the best way to be a woman is to act more like a man. Wait, is that what cosmopolitan magazines are telling women to do? Act more like men? Wait, did you think the structure of this video out? So you outdated. flash- You've been told that the best way to be a woman is movies. Movies and cosmopolitan magazines are masculinizing women. Now, I can only see these women like from the scalp up, but I'd be willing to bet these are probably pretty feminine women. That'd be my guess. These are probably fairly feminine. Oh yeah, this is Russian cosmopolitan. This isn't even regular cosmopolitan for normal people. This is Russian cosmopolitan. Yeah, these are pro- You- Man, if you wanted to make this argument, why wouldn't you show, like, Ripley from Alien? Ripley's kind of like a pretty mask girl. Or would, is that, would that not be good? Is that too old of a reference? I don't know. Dude, media still has women look feminine as fuck, okay? That's- And even if they don't want to be, that's fine. Decided you're outdated. You've been told that the best way to be a woman is to act more like a man. You've been told that you don't care about women because you care about a child in her womb. You what? I love conservative videos, dude. I love conservative videos so much. They can just say whatever the fuck they want. They don't have to justify shit. I feel I have to justify the arguments my I make. That's what hurts me, you know? That's my weakness. I'm over here, you know, I I'm thinking like, okay, I want to make a point. Let me explain my arguments, but Abigail over here, she's running it through. She's running it down mid. She doesn't give a fuck. You've been told that sleeping around is empowering, but waiting till marriage is ridiculous. You uh, yeah, uh, honestly, yeah, no, fuck you. I'm taking the affirmative on this one. Absolutely it is. Yeah, it's empowering for me to fuck a bunch of bitches. Absolutely. Why can't it be for you? Abigail Shapiro, you're probably already married. Uh, you literally showed us a video of you getting married earlier. I'm just telling you, okay? If you... Uh, I, I don't know, maybe if you're just, like, um, telling yourself that you're happier in this life than you would have been if you had just been a giant slut through college. But let me tell you, it really does depend on the person. Maybe you are, wanted to wait until marriage, and that's fine. Okay, if you want to. But some people really do just want to turn their pussies into an in and out, okay? Got a line so long, you send the cashier uh, out with a clipboard, okay? And if that's what they want to do, this is the United States of America, and that's, they should be allowed to do that, frankly. Now, there is, you, you, there is nothing mutually exclusive with being a gigantic slut and family values. There's nothing exclusive about these things. As much as media may try to lie to you and tell you otherwise, um, uh, uh, it is possible to like sex and have lots of sex and also to have a single partner and to 
care about them very much later in life. Uh, or you can do none of those things. That ultimately is the thing that I'm offering. It's freedom. The freedom to choose. I don't see feminists saying that women should be fucking around all over the place. I don't see feminists saying you can't be a trad wife. I don't see that. It's a stereotype since the 1960s that feminists are, are forcing women to be sluts or whatever. That's not true. You, Abigail, on the other hand, and people like you do try to force people down certain life paths. You are, in this case, the impetus on people's freedoms. You've been told that believing in God is passe. You've been silenced about your views, but not any- What does that mean to be silenced? It, is disagreeing with you mean silence? I don't, I don't know. Anymore. Let's take back the culture so women can be women. Let's talk about reclaiming your femininity. Let's talk about dating with purpose. Let's what the talk fuck about does... finding balance in career and home life. Let's talk about being Wait. Why the fuck do you get to have a career at all, femoid? Wait, you can't do Wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't have it halfway with the trad wife shit, okay? Hold on. Ho 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 hold on. If you're meant to be a broodmare whose only job is to support your husband, you can't have a career. Are you kidding me? You can't, this, these are, you, you can't, I'm sorry, hold on. If you, as a conservative woman, are taking the position that women are meant to be feminine, that women are meant to be domestic, you're supposed to wait until marriage, you're supposed to find a good life partner, you are implicitly making yourself subservient to people who actually make moves in society, men in your world, who's to say you get to work at all? That's the issue. These trad wife types want to have it both ways. You want to have social and cultural oppression that so happens to coincide with their political views, but they also want just enough political freedom to be able to do what they want anyway. Well, I tell you this, my friend, conservative culture breeds conservative politics. Not that you would mind that very much, I doubt. But if we go down the trad wife, uh, 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 you know, a traditional femininity road far enough, eventually you motherfuckers are back in the kitchen barefoot. So if it's in your best interest, Abigail, as somebody who has a career and is a woman, to promote the political, social, and cultural freedom of individual women who want to do whatever the fuck they want with their life. And if you've got opinions, but feel free to express those opinions. But don't act like you're reclaiming traditional femininity by fucking less than 20 people before your senior year, okay? An awesome, loving wife, but also being the kind of wife who makes your husband a better man. Let's talk As about opposed how to dress to... fashionably and conservatively. Let's talk- Yeah, dress fashionably and conservatively. Shut the fuck up, Abigail. Jesus Christ. Abigail, if you here if we want to talk about conservative yet, yeah, you need to get a breast reduction. I'm sorry, I cannot abide the hypocrisy. Your gigantic milkers are present through any clothing you're going to wear. There's a reason why you cut the video off at the level that you did, and the reason why you're wearing black too. Okay? We all know it. Ab Abigail, you're you you temptress, you succubus, uh, you will pull men away from their wives with that one ton behavior. Uh you have you could you can afford it. I know you can afford a breast reduction because you spend $100,000 populating my fucking YouTube and Twitter and Google ad algorithm with your fucking videos. Oh, and lest I forget, lest I forget. Um, so that's step one. Uh, obviously, Abigail, Abigail, we got to do something about that hair. Uh, I know you're not a big fan of Islam, but... As it so happens, they have a cultural practice which is all about concealing your beautiful femininity behind a veil of modesty, such as to avoid tempting the men around them. Now, I'm not saying you have to wear a hijab. I'm just saying you look like a little bit of a slut right now. So, um, it may, you, know, you, don't, you don't have to switch faiths. Uh, 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 you know, you could maybe, uh, uh, just sort of borrow the fashion a little bit here. How do, how do nuns dress? Hold on. 
Yeah, maybe maybe like a little bit like a nun. Again, this is more of a Catholicism thing. This is the first Google image result when I when I find when I Google nun. So maybe something like this. As you can see, the hair is covered. Um obviously there's some sort of makeup situation going on here. But uh yeah. The the point that I'm trying to get at, Abigail, is I just I don't I don't I don't like the policies you're prescribing. I don't like I don't like them. I don't like them, and I I wish you wouldn't pressure people. Like this. Here we go. There we go. Look, I don't know how accurate this is. Look, here we go. Here is the moderate, the moderate dress of the religions in anime form. See? Here we've got like the nun, the the Catholic, and here's Muslim, and here's the Orthodox Jew, which I, I think you are, right, Abigail? I assume, because uh, that makes the most sense to me. Yeah, there you go. I'm just saying, again, when you make the argument that women should dress modestly, you don't get to decide where that fuck stops. And it is insanely hypocritical for people like Abigail, who, I, now I don't know Abigail's position on this, Ben Shapiro has a position on this, who will make fun of Muslims for their barbaric practice of covering up women, and then for you, Abigail, to come on here and say that, um, for, for you to come on and say that women have to be dressing modestly. These are completely incompatible positions. You can't, you can't believe both of those things. Uh, here, ah, yes, here we go. There we go. The, the algorithm. Very good. Very good. Toss a coin to your stream. I own you as a plan. Now, I want to make it perfectly clear, Abigail. I think you look lovely. I, yeah, you know, uh, ob I mean, obviously you look put makeup on stuff, but I think you look great. You can wear what you want. I don't really care. But the tying femininity to modesty stuff, just, I just don't. You know, a hundred years ago, when women went to the beach, they would, they could be arrested for uh, indecency if they wore something that exposed like like midriff or shoulders or knees, that kind of stuff, you know? There was a very, very high standard for modesty at the beach. Imagine putting on a jumpsuit to go to the beach on a hot summer day. Jesus. But they would do it. Do you want to do that? Or do you have a nice, tasteful, one-piece uh, piece of swimwear? I am certain, Abigail, that the way you live your life today would be considered indecent uh, in many parts around the world, and would have been considered indecent in the U.S. just 50 to 60 years ago. So... Talk about how to do your makeup. Bosch is simping? Ah, yes. Well, to those of you who don't know, Abigail Shapiro is probably a fucking millionaire and will never hear a goddamn word that I say. But as a rhetorical tactic, by talking as though I'm speaking to her, I can make the arguments that I'm making without having to extrapolate them to the positions of an imagined audience. It's a rhetorical tactic called having an IQ higher than 62. Up for a night at the opera, not a night at the club. What? Let's talk about life. The opera? Jesus Christ, the fucking opera? Oh yeah, okay, good luck with that one. By, by the way, this motherfucker majored in, in opera. Like, she majored in it. Where's that clip? Where's that clip? Hold on. Abigail Shapiro. Pledge of Allegiance. Ah, uh, come on, where is it? Ah, I know. Where is it? Uh. Come on. Come on. It's this one? Yes. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Now, I want it to be clear. It's not that she's technically improficient. She's actually a good singer. She's just uncreative. 
That's her problem. She's just introducing vibrato to, to the song. It's, it's not that she's not good at singing. It's that she is boring. It's boring. It's not creative. Which actually perfectly suits kind of the broader theme we're getting at here, right? I'm sure, uh, you know? Where she may possess like a, a sort of technical talent, but she is utterly uh, 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 intellectually suppressed by, um, by her own standards for what women are supposed to be. From a conservative perspective, and let's not be afraid to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to get notified of all my new videos. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram. Right, okay, that's enough advertisement. Anyway, fuck, stop. Stop with this bullshit, okay? This is something that the alt-right has been trying to do for a long time now. Um, the alt-right has been trying to sell traditional femininity to women. That's what they've been trying to do for a long, long, long time. Um, the alt-right has done it, um, now, and we have Abigail trying to do it as well, who's not alt-right, but who, I imagine, overlaps with the, their positions in quite a few ways. Um, and they are, um, and they are, um, oh yeah, God, has, has Shapiro ever complained about lefties getting underwater basket-weaving majors while his sister majored in opera? Ooh. Um. Yeah, Jesus Christ. And praised her as well. Um. Oh yeah, wait a second. Abigail was married. Why the fuck is Abigail going by Shapiro? Wait, hold on. Wait. Abigail, why didn't you take your, your husband's surname? You... I'm sorry, was the business clout of being named Shapiro more worthwhile to you than the traditional act of taking your husband's name? That's an inter ah, that's an interesting maybe by maybe by balancing um maybe by balancing work life and home life, what you actually meant was you get to do whatever the fuck you want to do to advance your career, and then apply a hypocritical set of standards to everyone else who's listening. What if she did take the name? Oh, we're forgetting. It's possible her husband also just had the last name Shapiro. That's a possibility. <laughs> oh, yeah. My brother, Ben Shapiro, and my husband, Eduardo Shapiro. I know, I know. It's a crazy story. It's possible. This ad came to the wrong people's feeds and the like to dislike ratio shows. When you prioritize marriage and children, that's fine. When you say those are values all women should prioritize, you're wrong. As a girl, I prioritize my education and career. I don't want to have kids at all, and marriage is secondary compared to my career goals. Who marries someone they know is gonna they're gonna have to raise to be better? Lamau, you're marrying a child then. <laughs> you're acting like conservatives are oppressed. Piano music's annoying. Why is this recommended to me? I'm a wife and mother, but this is just ridiculously stupid, and it's not my job to make my husband a better man. I love and support him, but it's up to him to be a good man on his own. God damn right. God damn right. The U.S. is so far gone that a political position is now a personality trait. True! Dude, people say that about lefties, but there is nothing quite like all the conservative liberal, uh, uh, libertarians and ANCAPs whose brains are utterly empty, except for like, um, political compass memes, you know, pertaining to their quadrant. What some white people would give their left kidney to be oppressed. Ooh, bad look. Abigail is Jewish. She actually is oppressed. Ooh, ah. Here we go. This one's better. Why is she making it sound like being a conservative woman means you're oppressed? Yeah, and it, go it goes... It goes on and on and on. It goes on. It goes on forever, man. These comments are just not positive. Why I love my conservative and life. This one's got pretty much the same ratio. Marriage isn't a conservative trait. This whole video is so ignorant. Guys, listen. These YouTube comments are coming from women, okay? I gotta tell you, it's not gonna happen. You are not going to convince women to just go back and accept the previous level of social and cultural oppression that they used to have. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You're, you've lost. I'm sorry. You can convince white boys that 
the Western civilization they grew up in is falling because of transgender pronouns or whatever. But you, you just, on average, you are not going to convince women that the time has come for them to all become trad wives again. It's true that right now women are on average less happy than they were back in the 1960s, even if we were to assume all the same standards and variables associated with happiness. In large part, that's because everything has gotten more miserable. But you know what? Women are people, and that means they're heroic figures too. And if you asked a heroic man, let's say in an anime, would you sacrifice a bit of your happiness if it meant having the power and freedom to do with you what you wanted with life? They would tell you yes. Because um, characteristics like, well, some of you would, characteristics like self-sacrifice um, and of uh, 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 relentless drive for freedom, these are considered masculine. In reality, these things are universal traits. So even if women today are struggling in many ways, uh, I think, and the data proves me correct on this, that they would rather struggle as free citizens than they would live in comfortable bubbles as domestic slaves. And what's more, that's a false dichotomy for most American women. When we think of the gilded cage narrative for 1950s women, that was for rich or middle-class white women, bitch. Black and brown women and poor women have been working forever. There was never a single parent household for black families, unless they were very privileged, you know, relative, relatively speaking. So for those women, it's not a question of comfortable domesticity or painful freedom. It is a question of um, painful domestic slavery or painful freedom. And to that, that's an easy win for freedom anytime. 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 You're not going to do it, Abigail. I'm sorry you've lost. The sluts have won. What are you going to do?